good day, all. It's a rather cold midwinter day here in New England, so let's make ourselves a nice warm cup of tea and head outside before the rain begins. Well, we have our tea, but I think it's starting to spit a bit. It's starting to come down. So today is definitely going to be a stay inside kind of day. So on today's vlog, I think I'm going to share a walk I took previously in the sunshine. And uh, we'll see what else we can get up to on today, the last day of 2020, which I'm sure we're all very happy to see the end of. All right, let's get started. As it's a lovely sunny day, I thought we should take a little walk to this little church that I love, St. Andrews by the Sea. And uh, it isn't open now, but that isn't because of uh, our current situation. This church is only open during the summer season, as many of its parishioners are just summer residents. So if we go up the uh, stone steps here, you'll see how lovely it sits above this rise of this hill. And it has a lovely, lovely view of the sea and the houses beyond, and the golf club as well. So a little history of this place is St. Andrews by the Sea sits high on Sunset Hill. And uh, from it, which it sits in Hyannis Port, which is in Cape Cod, you can see Squaw Island and Nantucket Sound beyond. And it was completed in 1911. And here you can see an old photo of the church during its early years when automobiles looked a bit different. And although it was built in 1911, it wasn't officially consecrated as a church or a chapel until two years later, because back in the early part of the century in this country, a church could not be consecrated until it had been paid for. The property where the church that had actually originally belonged to the Whitmores of uh, New Jersey, and uh, when they died, uh, when the husband died, they had planned to build a summer home here back in the early part of the 20th century. Uh, when he passed, I believe his name was Augustus Whitmore. When he passed, his uh, widow gave the property to the church, which then was built. I love the use of the old stones. This is very Cape Cod. And it actually makes me think um, our funny fireplace here at Bunny Hall is made from beach stones. So this, all of this, these stones would have been taken from the beach just down there beyond the sea. And here as you stand in this little area which is um, has the little memory plaques you can actually it's unfortunate that you can see the car park but beyond that is a really beautiful golf course and obviously a lovely view of the Atlantic. So let's look back and it has the uh, gothic arch and the circular window. It's a very small church, but again, Hyannisport is not a very large area. And as we look around here, you can see all along in the distance, Nantucket Sound, and uh, lovely, lovely day. Quite warm, too. And as this sits up on this hill, Sunset Hill, you can see down into the various rolling bits of Hyannisport. Let's go walk over here so you can get a better view. Here you can see more of the homes, mostly summer homes, which you can often tell because they usually will be boarded up. And then as you get the homes get closer to the edge of the sea, uh, they often have uh, hurricane shutters on, just depending on what sort of winter season we may have, one never knows. And uh, some residents here live as far as 
uh, Texas and some overseas. So I love how they use the red doors, but I, I love this Gothic entrance here. And then as you look up, the tower was built from the beach stones and then the gargoyles at the corners. And then there's a rounded window bit to the side. But a good friend of mine and I, we used to uh, often take pictures of ourselves in black and white in front of this door. So it has uh, some happy memories. And here we are up on the steps by the lovely red door looking out over the sea. And the house is mainly empty now, waiting for the warm summer days. And hopefully we will have normal summers again. Well, let's work our way back down the stone steps. And I really think that uh, hopefully this coming year in 2021, I can take you for more walks and to see more sights on the Cape. That's my hope. But it really, really depends on uh, what this year is going to be like. So let's hope I can take you for more outings. Now, if we were to turn away from the church heading this way, along this lovely stone wall, I just love stone walls, <laughs> uh, this, we could walk this way and it would wind us down the hill down towards more of the center of Hyannisport. And Hyannisport just has a tiny one little shop and a post post office. But now if we turn back this way, uh, as if we were walking towards the church, here you can see a lovely hedgerow, again, very Cape Cod hedges and gates, still with their pretty Christmas wreaths up. Let's head over to the uh, car park of the Hyannisport Club. The Hyannisport Club, I think it was built in the 1890s, and it used to just be a six-hole golf course back then. Um, now I'm pretty sure it is nine holes. And uh, although it is a private club, in, the, uh, in March and April, they usually host a tournament that's called the Seagulls, and uh, it's open to all Cape Cod residents. So, um, and I guess it's well known that whether it's freezing rain or really, really, really hot, it always happens. And it's supposed to be pretty hard to play here, basically because we definitely get heavy winds here on the Cape. <laughs> so, looking out over the lovely green grass and the beautiful blue sea, let's head back home and go into the studio and work on my latest drawing. So I made a sketch the other day, a, a Lalonde sketch, and it's a new one. It has nothing to do with the book, which is not a book uh, I was thinking of doing, although I suppose it could become part of that. I just wanted to do a sketch of Lalonde with a, a Victorian style figure looking out the window, because I know many of us sort of have that escapist ideal of being able to one day find ourselves at Lalonde. So I thought this was kind of a fun way, in my own way, to sort of do it. And I think what I'm going to do, again, this is just a watercolor, so I take my pencil sketch and then I make another sketch, which is what this is. And then I add watercolor digitally, which is a sped up of me doing that. And then this will eventually become a um, oil painting. And, uh, but what I'm wondering is, I know other people were interested in my sketch or my work for the book that is not a book, and I haven't really wanted to sell it to anyone yet because I wanted it to be special for Lalan, so I'm still thinking about that. But for this piece, I actually, maybe I would make it available if, if others were interested. But what I would do to make it special is, I think when I do the oil painting, if I were to do it uh, in a special way and have it print just one and make it one of one so that would just be special for Lalonde, then I could change the colors up or make it different somehow so that if I were to sell prints of this on things or by itself, it would still be different, but it wouldn't be like that single one piece that I'm doing really for myself and also as a, as a thank you to Lalonde. Um, and I'm looking forward to 2021. I'm going to be focusing a lot more on art, art this year, and I'm probably going to be doing a lot more sketches for book ideas, even though I don't know if any books are going to actually be made. Uh, but a lot of you seem to like my funny little stories and my sketches. So I think this year is going to be a lot more art in my vlogs, and I really am happy and hopeful that you'll be interested in me doing it. So I'm excited about the coming year. And uh, so here's to 2021 and the joy of art and being creative. So let's end this video and uh, get ready for 2021. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and uh, I'm looking forward to 2021, which I'm sure all of you are. We are pretty happy to see the back of 2020, but what's been so great about 2021 is finding all of you and hopefully finding new friends as well. So to a great and wonderful, hopeful and joyful 2021. Uh, and remember, stay creative. Cheers.